Which animal was the first to travel to space from this world? The answer is only one, Laika. However, there were several other living species, such as some monkeys or rats, that had completed space missions before Laika. In addition, there was another monkey named Albert I, who participated in a suborbital flight in 1949, which cannot be entirely classified as a space mission. This is why Laika is known today as the first animal to undertake a space mission. Just hearing about Laika makes us feel proud, because she was the first animal in the world to undertake a long space mission. But was Laika really the lucky dog, as we see in pictures, or is shown to us in news magazines or school books? So what is the truth today? We will find out in this video. Before 1950, sending humans on space missions beyond Earth was a significant challenge for scientists of that time. Different species of animals were sent into space to determine whether humans would be able to survive in a space mission. In the year 1957, Laika was wandering the streets of Moscow, which is located in Russia, like a stray dog. At that time, she was three years old. Back then, who would have known that she would be the first dog in human history to go on a space mission? Meanwhile, the world's first space satellite, Sputnik 1, was successfully launched with the help of the Soviet space program. However, there were no living beings on Sputnik 1, so the scientists thought, why not send a living, large creature on this space mission? But perhaps the Russian scientists wanted to conduct the second space mission quite quickly. That is why the spacecraft was given only four weeks to be built, a penalty that the innocent dog had to pay later. This spacecraft was named Sputnik 2, which was specially designed for one dog. This spacecraft had one carbon dioxide absorber, an oxygen generator, and one fan to keep the animal cool. A bag was provided to collect some food, and the dog's stool and urine for the purpose of surviving for seven days. The cabin of Sputnik 2 was so small that there was no room to move around inside. Thus, Sputnik 2 was designed, which took about 28 days to prepare. Now there was just a delay in finding one dog. The Soviet space scientists deliberately chose a stray dog from the streets because they were more accustomed to living in extreme conditions than other domestic pet dogs, which made them ideal for the space mission. During this time, the scientists found Laika, and she was subsequently trained for the mission. Due to the small size of the cabin in Sputnik 2, Laika was kept in a small cage for 20 days to help her acclimate to the cabin of Sputnik 2. Before long, Laika's training was complete, and she was ready to go to space. At that time, humans knew how to go to space, but they did not know how to return. In a way, this was similar to a suicide mission. The only difference was that Laika had no idea she would die in just a few days. Before sending Laika on this mission, one scientist took her home with him and gave her the chance to play with his child during her last moments of life. Now it was time to say goodbye to Laika forever. So finally, Laika was secured inside the cabin of Sputnik 2 with a chain to limit her movement. In this position, Laika was kept on Earth for three days to help her get accustomed to the situation. On November 3, 1957, Laika's life came to an end. Just before the launch of Sputnik 2, a technician said goodbye to Laika for the last time by kissing her on the nose, knowing that she would never return. Following this, Sputnik 2 was successfully launched and it began its journey into space with Laika aboard. However, due to a technical fault, one part of Sputnik 2 could not detach from the rocket. Perhaps four weeks was not enough time to build a spacecraft, and as a result, the temperature in Laika's cabin began to rise rapidly. Laika's heart rate increased significantly, going from a normal rate of 100 to 240 beats per minute, proving how much distress she was experiencing due to the heat. Laika fought against death for three continuous hours, but the temperature rose so high that after five hours, signals from Laika's sensors had stopped, marking the moment of her death. After her death, Sputnik 2 remained in space for 162 days in the same condition, orbiting the Earth approximately 2,570 times. It then burned up in the Earth's atmosphere with the deceased Laika on April 14, 1958. In 2008, the Russian government built a statue memorial in honor of Laika. This was the same place where Laika was trained. As you can see, a dog is standing on top of the rocket which is Laika. We should never forget Laika's great sacrifice. This dog must have made some contributions to the space mission, which is why we can think about large space missions today. So, do you think it's right to sacrifice these animals for the benefits of science and human advancement and development? Don't forget to let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I bring such videos every week. I'll see you in the next video, and, as always, thanks for watching.